what, what does it do? What's it sound like? It's gonna sound like your people, subwoofer is just kicking in with no music. Well, what's it sound like? I mean, can you make noise? Oh, okay. Then I got a customer right here. What's up? What's up? He's Only helping the best. me out right here. Only the best. <laughs> anyway, I had to wear a glove to be able to, to reach this part right there. All right. Hello, YouTube. Uh, today we got Alpine and a single uh, 12 right there. Both Alpine. I'm going to be installing a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And so the battery is over here. So i'm gonna just remove and check out what i have to do before i start running the wire shouldn't be that hard to get it out open i can't see very well so i pop it loose and it's coming out right here so it's basically just a clip if you're looking at that that's just a clip so i'm gonna run the uh four gauge back to the back and then running the speaker wire i'm going to run it this side which is the passenger side right there so first of all i'm going to push the seat forward when i'm here in the back seat i'm going to try to pop this loose just take it a flat head and pry it up you just have to be careful not break anything it will come up like that and then this one i just grab it and pull it right there Pull it out straight like that and up right there so I can reach to the speaker wire right there so it's I'm gonna move the seat back forward and then just pull this thing out like that and just be careful this is this 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 is slimsy right there you'll break them easy just so be careful what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run the power wire go through right there and then I'll run the speaker wire from here that way I Actually, it's got a subwoofer in the back. I could have used that. Now, I prefer to do it from the uh, right rear, uh, left, yeah, no, right rear seat right there. Uh, it's easier than go to the quarter panel over there. I'm going to uh, pry that out to the right. Actually, I move the chair, out of the chair, the seat forward. You are going to do the same. You're going to want to remove this out. And then pop that clip right there. Pop it out same way as out of the front, but just be careful not to pry too much and you'll break them. Uh, I'm gonna run the power through over there, so I definitely need to remove that. Now, some of my video are short. The reason I make it short, I make it simple. I don't wanna make it too difficult for me to do. So I'm gonna pop this, pry this out forward like this right there put that in and pry it pop it out like that actually i didn't have to pop it out i'm just pull it out like this and then i'm gonna try to push the wire in through here using a coat hang or something so i can get the power over there from here so i got a coat hanger right there i'm gonna push it like this straight forward right there I need my other hand to pry it up, pull this out a little bit so I can grab it. So right there, so now I'm gonna stick the uh, power wire and pull it back. And just pull it back. Now you take a blade and you kind of strip this uh, black tape right there, make sure you don't pinch through the wire. So now the positive you're gonna hook up to dark green and green. And then the uh, negative is dark green and gray. So uh, that's what you have to hook up. So I got the speaker wire right there. I'm gonna hook it up positive to positive and negative to negative. Depend on how much work you wanna do. If you wanna go through here, you gotta do a lot more work. But uh, in my case, I'm just gonna hide the wire through here underneath this plastic and then run it to the back. This case right here, I'm gonna mount it about right there. Basically, when you pull it up, it's gonna be on here because it's a smaller amp. But if it's a bigger amp, what I would do, either I remove this part, I wouldn't do that, but uh, I'm just gonna mount it on the box. But this is a single box, and we just mount it either on the box on top of over here, but screw it on one side, so that way this thing can be go underneath there. But uh, my case, 
I'm going to do it right this. Make it a lot easier for me. I'm going to run everything, get the ground everything, and hook up. Now, I like to soft tap the screw it. Some people ask me or tell me, uh, well, why, why do you, uh, why you're not using this bolt? This bolt is not that great. If you want to do this bolt right there, you want to take this out, completely out, sand them really good, and then I'm doing right here, this is good enough, this is a 4 gauge wire. This is great enough for the amp I'm using, unless you got some major 4, 3, 4,000 watts, yes, definitely need that, but in my case, I do not need it. I usually uh, leave it about over a foot, uh, a foot and a feet and a half uh, for this for the power wire just in case a customer want to get a bigger amp they want to mount the uh, amp back behind this side right there so um, I, I always snuck it inside already so I'm gonna put up the um, first I'm gonna show you I got KISS LOCK 2 right there K-I-S-L-O-C 2 and this is speaker wire that I ran from the uh, from the uh, right rear I'm gonna put the red to the uh, gray white and then the black I'm gonna hook it up to the uh, gray black and white black that's for the negative I don't have to do both sides and I have pretty good luck with it I've done so many many already many many hundreds already I don't have to do both sides so I'm good I, I tested before a couple times to make sure you know I'm not losing sound I don't lose any sound I can't tell any any difference so now for the ground wire, I've used blue as the ground, as you can see it, uh, seen it earlier. Uh, I'm gonna tap it with the black right there. I'm kind of put it, and then I put it in the ground, and then I got the remote go by itself right here. As you can see right there, the remote by itself, and then now I'm gonna hook up the this to the uh, 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 RCA jack. I'm gonna use a foot and a half also, and most of the ground right here should be a foot a feet a foot and a half but like I said uh, and for the installation the looks after that you have to I mean depend on a person how much they charge and such and such and how beautiful they want it to look and how clean it want to look but I mean mine's I can't say very very clean but I mean it's clean enough you know it's uh, you know what I charge people I don't charge people too much so I'm, I'm I'm good at that uh, so uh, yeah I'm gonna put the speaker wire to the speaker and hook up the uh, fuse you look at from the back of this uh, setup right there I got that right there it's gonna look like that I mean it's not the best but I mean it's pretty enough where they can't see it once you uh, put the seat uh, the speaker back like this I mean that's Guess they're gonna need that part, so I'm gonna screw that so they can hold that and make sure you check the tires, see if it's so close to it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna check that myself. Do the fuse. I'm gonna. I I start this already, so I'm gonna put the uh, cap in there first, like this, and then I'm gonna loosen it up and I put only like a 80 amp fuse for this one because it's a small amp. Now you want to strip the wire about three quarter, uh, maybe I uh, know actually this one's gonna be a half and a half of an inch because you don't want it to to stick out of this thing right there. You want it to put it like that so that way there's no uh, copper sticking out because that's dangerous, especially when you put it in here. It's close to the metal and that's not safe. And then now I'm gonna loosen this up and put in the fuse. I'm gonna do it from the front since. The uh, ten, you're gonna need a ten millimeter for over there. You see it? I use the socket. I always tape this up just in case I hit the ground or anything, cause I do a lot of them. I had to be careful. So now I'm gonna lose that ten millimeter. Now I made the uh, the ring to a spade terminal. I cut two ends like a circle like that. I cut this end and the other end so I can snuck it in so I don't have to take the whole uh, uh, oh, nuts and bolt. I get confused with nuts and bolt. I've been doing this for so long. I get nuts and bolt. Uh, I guess it's a, a nut, not a bolt. Yep. So I got it like that. I did tape this one just in case some some can happen. And um, we'll put everything back. Now I'm gonna play a radio. 
see how it sounds. I have a really bad habit of just feeling like I can't bother people with my problems because they're small or they're insignificant or the other person has bigger problems. What I'm going to have to do, I had to do some setting for the audio setting. Where's that audio setting at? Uh, I got to turn off this thing off. Where is Audio. Click on audio. Speed adjust volume. You want to shut it off. And then... Yep. Alrighty. It sounds good. Install that I made doesn't sound good at all. It just sound like one 6x9. So I removed the 7mm right there. And right here. First I pop that out. And then uh, now I'm going to remove this. I'm going to try to reach the uh, subwoofer wire right here. So that's a 10 millimeter right there you need. Didn't want to remove all this to go to the speaker, but I have to. And the uh, amplifier somewhere around here, I that look like a... That doesn't look like an amp. The amp will have a... I'm not sure. Gray, brown, and gray, white. I don't see anything. That I don't think so. I'm I'm gonna skip this. Maybe later on that might be the right the right that might be the amp. But uh, it looked like a radio. Uh, I mean, it does look like an amp because it twists together. I'm gonna do a little bit of research because I don't have to take. I don't want to take all that out, and it's. It's not easy. The wire is on the very top right there. Let me see if I can get over there. Whew, look at that. I forgot about this part right there. Stick to my shirt and everything. Oh, gosh. This is not easy. I thought it was an easy job, but it's not. It turned out to be a really pain in the butt. So, I must try to pry this out. See if I can reach this over here. I'm going to get this out first right here. Actually, right there. That. Well, I don't have to take that out, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna move all that out right here. I'm gonna try to pry a little bit with two hands. So I did find a solution. So what I did, I pulled this rubber, uh, freaking whatever that thing called again. I, I, I never remember that call. But anyway, I grabbed one hand right there, and then I try to pry this a little bit, and I pull this out right there because it's all clips. You have to be careful how you remove it. So uh, now I can literally see that if you look at the right there, that plug, I can literally reach my hand to there and grab that wire. I'm going to pull that wire out. Let me see what's... So that should be the subwoofer. I'm going to try. I'm going to double check just to make sure that's the right wire. So I can see right there. I'm looking for gray... Uh, so if you're looking at right here, I got the gray brown. I got it to the positive. I can't tell the color now. Yeah, gray brown. I got it to is that gray brown or gray tan? Uh, yeah. Uh, gray brown. I got it to the positive, and then gray tan. I got it to the negative. Or what you could do, you can use the, I will link it below right there, the uh, green and white and gray white. Or you can put to the next one to that is gray white is positive and green white is negative. And that. Oh, the speaker wire ran up there and then what I did, I cut, I'm going to have to tape this old wire right there. I'm gonna tape it up and then I'm gonna hide it the back again and then check it out and see if it work right. What I wanna see right there. That, that beating right there. That's what I wanna see. So that's what the customer has. So I'm gonna screw it back down here and screw it back down. I'm done. God, I, I spent uh, almost three hours working on this. I think done. All the doors closed uh, earlier. The door wasn't closed. So I'm, I'm gonna see. Oh, I think I left the keys in there. So it might think the keys in there. Hold on. Because you got that burp noise. And I do not like that. So I'm going to get the key out. Let me see if it's on accessory or not. It's off. I see that noise. So I'm going to close the door. Let's see what's going on. 
I don't like that noise. So might need a remote wire, a switch where you turn on and off the amp by itself or run it to the uh, fuse. We'll find out if that burping noise whoop, might be in there. I, think I got a customer. Light is off right now. I don't hear that noise. So it might be just that staying on for a couple seconds. But I don't hear that burping noise. So uh, I will let you know. And if there's a problem, I will link it below. So kind of keep an eye on it. You might have to run a remote wire itself to sh or a switch to shut off or run it to the fuse for when you turn the key on it's it's it turned the amp on that's the only way to stop it from doing that sound well thanks you guys for uh, watching and I I hope everything is okay everything good for you if you install one of these and I hope that everyone uh, watch the whole video not just half of it because uh, there's a uh, trial and error that I've done and it doesn't work right so I had to do what I had to do re basically redo that wasn't good I literally spent three hours trying to figure this call out try to look on YouTube nobody mentioned anything about this I did found one guy but he had to take everything off and that was uh, for the uh, amplifier factory amplifier that wasn't good but yep that was just if you do have an amplifier if you don't have an amplifier the way i do it first time that's the right way customer came back and uh tell me that uh you know when you drive it make that uh, bub, 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 bub noise like a thumping noise so that's uh, related to a and c uh i didn't know jeeps got a and c this is probably the first jeep that i've done that's got a and c that you cannot turn it off from this uh, audio right here you click on audio you should see speed. I shut that off. It should be off. So it's got four of these things right there. I'm going to start uh, 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 unplug it on the driver's, uh, the passenger front first and see if it does that. And I have the customer drive a little bit. Because as long as you uh, put on gear, it make that thumping noise. So I'm going to remove it by taking this out. And then uh, try to unplug it somehow how to uh, bypass the ANC which is uh, this thing called speed adjustment uh, adjusted volume from a Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee and this is probably the first one I've done that's got that so I'm just trying to reach it to right there to disable this one right there on the passenger side hopefully that's solved the whole thing but I'm checking see this airbag right there had to be careful with that so I don't know how to manage the do it yet so I might have to remove that part right there got T25 right there I'm gonna remove both of this and then I should be able to reach this and I can un unplug that that's how you uh, remove the ANC on this model and that's probably the only way you can do it. and then if anybody have any suggestion or any recommendation or how to bypass other than that let me know and I will appreciate that I take a flat head and kind of pop this around and remove it so it's easy for me to reach my hand in there so I don't bend this piece right there uh, that look like a seven millimeter I'm a little bit blind right now it's it's spot right there yep you got to take three of them out now it's a it's a eight millimeter I thought it's a seven millimeter it's an eight millimeter so remove that take another one there's three of them I got a customer right here. What's up? What's up? He's Only helping the best. me out right here. <laughs> Only the best. <laughs> anyway, I had to wear glove to be able to, to reach this part right there. Whoop! I took my glove off. The heck? <laughs> so you want to put gloves on here so you don't scratch your skin or, or whatever. Man, this glove is crazy. So when you reach this to right there, I kind of pull a little bit. They kind of glue that piece right there. Oof. I can't see the, the, the thing. So there's a clip right there. I, I grabbed the wire out. Oh, here it is. Right there. And then you push this button right there. You can pull it out so you don't have to cut anything. See this clip on the right, right there. My, where my finger's at. I'm going to reach my other hand in there so I can push the clip in and then pull it out. 
now the clip is open meaning it's not a closed circuit meaning that it's good to go hopefully hopefully i don't have to do all four of them uh just one of them so we'll see i'm gonna let them drive and see if it's got that noise i got a customer right here and he don't know what to say anyway i'm gonna ask him so so you tell me what happened so we had uh, the uh, the noise cancellation was causing us some issues when we were driving. Um, it was picking up all the sounds from the outside, creating a bunch of rumbling sounds. Um, so we had to do a little finagling to get this. Okay, thing to work. so uh, so is is it is it happen when you drive or what what happened? When the doors are shut. So okay, once, let's go ahead and shut it. Once the door's shut and the car is on. When the car is starting, when the car is okay, starting, starting, the noise cancellation. What what does in. it do? What's it sound like? It's gonna sound like your people... subwoofer is just kicking in with no music. Well, what's it sound it's like? Gonna... I mean, can you make noise? <laughs> oh, okay. <that's... laughs> it's gonna it's kind of like you're... a thump in noise. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna think that you got a bunch of bass going with no music. So I want you to do what I want you to do. I want you to pull back. Well, after I open the garage and <laughs> to see if it make that noise because you have to drive on a yeah, lot of so a lot of Honda. Signs. Yes, if it don't. Let's then see. We're good to go. Okay. All right. All right. Drive back. Did it so make far, any so noise? So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. It was picking up sounds the whole way in. Why don't you drive uh, uh, around the block and tell me? Come I'm back and tell me. Yep. All right. He's going to drive around the block and see if it does that because I didn't put everything together yet. So he's back. He drove around the block and... Oh, everything good? We're good to go. No, no, no crazy noise? Silent. So just take the passenger side off and then it's good. Yeah, Man, you're going to be popular on my channel right here. <laughs> What's your name? Kevin. Kevin, huh? Yep. I heard you married, you, you married with a uh, uh, Cambodian, Cambodian Cambodian lady. Yep. Huh? Good, good you girls. got Cambodian blood in you now. <laughs> Cambodian family. Yep. yep, that's our family right here. Okay, well, I'm glad everything worked. I'm going to put everything back together and then call it a day. Perfect. Yep.